we are back on the urban farm here in Florida. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's a little windy, a little chilly, which is nice. Um, I apologize about the road noise. It might be a little loud right now. Um, but we are out here in the garden and we are going to do a green stock project today. I've had the original green stock for probably about a year now, maybe a little more, a little less. I've gotten, I think I've planted it out three different times. Um, I've amended the soil slightly just by doing some feeding um, through the watering system with some kelp meal, maybe doing a little bone meal or blood meal here and there. But I have yet to fully empty the green stock, amend the soil, get any debris out of it, pull out any large root systems that are still in there and replant it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, it's kind of a big project, but I think it's gonna be worth it because I've had a lot growing in here and I think it's time to really revitalize the soil and get this thing replanted for spring. So I'm super excited. The previous footage you just saw was the green stock leaf. That is doing wonderfully. Um, we're absolutely in love with that one and how everything's growing in it. The other green stock, the second one that we purchased is another green stock original that has our strawberry plants in it, which we're finally getting some strawberries. So I'll make sure to put some clips of that in there. Um, and just remember if you're ever interested in purchasing your own green stock, you can use our code Espinosa10. I'll put it down below. Um, but that saves you $10 on the purchase of your green stock grow system. All right, guys, let's get into it. I'll talk you through what I'm doing. First, I'm gonna go ahead and just harvest everything that's in here. I've got a lot of kale, um, some cilantro. Cilantro starting to bolt, so we'll go ahead and salvage what we can of the cilantro, harvest all the kale. I've got my root apron on here, which is perfect. I actually just discovered it has some pockets up here, which I didn't know the last time I, sh I showed you guys it. Um, so we'll go ahead and fill up this root apron and get things going. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Everything is pretty much out of there except for this one plant. This is yarrow. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. I might have to take it out and then put it back in. As you can see, I left these big chunky pieces right here of the stem. All of that is gonna come out, but I'm gonna do that as I'm taking each level out and dumping the soil. So that's what we're gonna do now. I've got this big blue bin right here so i'm gonna really quickly wash that out just to make sure it's sterile um, as much as possible i'm gonna take my harvest inside put that inside in the sink um, clean that bin and then we'll get started dumping out each level of the soil and i'll show you and talk you through the entire process so it is all clean i'm gonna go ahead and start dumping i'm gonna start with one level and as i'm going through i'm gonna dump all the soil into this bucket I'm gonna pull out any super clumpy roots, try and get as much soil off of them as possible and just keep going level to level. Look at all the roots in there. You can see that the roots really have plenty of room to develop. All the plants had really nice root systems and how moist this is. We've been getting a lot of rain, so I like hardly ever have to water these. What I'm doing right now is just breaking up the soil. As you saw, there's a lot of roots in here, so I just kind of want to break it all up. And we're going to reuse this soil. I just am going to amend it and add in some compost. So I took a slight intermission, had to take care of the dogs, and I realized I have my wedding ring still on and I don't wanna like lose it in the soil or something or get it full of soil. So what I was saying is that second level of the green stock had much, much less um, root system in it. It was not all bound together. I ended up getting rid of some of that first level just because there were so much roots and everything was really bound up um, as far as the soil is concerned. But when I mixed it in with the second one, what I did is kind of just broke apart the rest of that first level and mixed it all in. And that way we have all that nice organic matter from our plants. 
um, which we grow organically, by the way, um, in the soil and helping the, to feed that soil. So the bucket's getting kind of full. I'm only two levels in. I'm probably just gonna do two levels, amend those, clean out those green stock levels, put the soil back in, and then move on to the next ones because I don't think in the bucket I'm gonna have enough room to put all the levels. So what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and clean these guys off. You can see they're kind of dirty. I'm gonna rinse them out just so we're starting with a nice, clean, fresh system. So I'll clean those out. And then over here, this is what we've got going on for soil. I'm gonna go ahead and bring some soil remineralizer back here and I'll show you guys that and put below what is all in that. And I will also bring some compost and add that to this. the outsides of them is not a necessary step but Jose and I are both like of the same mind we like the gardens to be like as clean and organized and aesthetically pleasing as possible I completely understand that's not a goal for everyone that's just kind of how he and I are and so I like to clean these off especially since I'm taking the time to totally redo them might as well just clean them off make them look nice and as new as possible again they were pretty expensive so I'd like to try and take care of them and keep them looking new and good as long as possible. So I added about four shovels full of a mixture of compost, some organic garden soil, some azmite, and then this Cascade Minerals remineralizer for raised beds container gardens again i'll link that below and i'll put the information below as to what it has in it so i just wanted to get that mixed up and now i'm going to refill those two levels of green stock and then keep going with the next one want to make sure is that your green stock is full to the top with soil it will settle a little over time so you want to make sure that you're filling it really well with soil all right friends so I am done amending the soil cleaning the each tier and refilling them they look so wonderful and I cannot tell you how happy I am that I decided to do this this was a big project but it's something I've been meaning to do and I've had on my head for a long time so I encourage you if you have a project like that that is just on your heart and just telling it's telling you do this and you just have been putting it off putting it off for whatever reason just get it done just go ahead and do it because you're gonna feel so great once you do and our plants are gonna be so happy this gives me a clean slate to just start fresh and get a whole bunch of new gorgeous plants in here the soil is amended it looks beautiful I actually have a lot of leftover soil what I ended up doing is adding about two cubic feet of compost and manure and then a cubic foot or so of an organic garden raised bed soil. I also put in some azomite and that remineralizer that I um, have talked about previously. And I'm just over here like playing with the soil because it feels so nice. Um, I broke up all the roots and stuff that were in there, left as much of those in there as possible. If there were any like super clumps together that I couldn't really get separated, I tossed those into what's gonna be our compost pile. But as you can see right here, I've got a lot of like little stringy roots. I left as much of that organic material in here as possible. Um, filled everything back up and now I'm ready to plant. So I figure I'll take you guys along with that part. We'll get it restacked. It looks gorgeous and I can't wait for you guys to see it all put together. So I've got my two forks here that I like to use to get my plants out. I've got some gorgeous little plants here that I'm gonna go ahead and put in the green stock. These right here are nasturtiums. 
they're a really beautiful variety we bought from Baker Creek. I'm super excited about them. I'm trying not to plant things too deep this time. Let me go ahead on One thing I'm doing a little different this time is I'm planting them a lot less deep and then I'm adding some more soil in around them. I'm trying to keep that level real close up to the top here. And then I also try and angle them out a little bit towards the edge of the green stalk. So you see just a little hole and then I'm like back filling around and pushing down just a little bit and then making sure it's nice and full up to the top. These are a basil variety. I can't remember the name, but I'll put it below. So the first, the bottom level is planted. Again, I've got nasturtiums and this like beautiful purple flowering basil. It's all done. Put the watering disc on. I line one of the holes up with each pocket. I'm gonna put the next level on and then plant that. On this level here, I'm gonna do yarrow and basil. you can see better here, I angle them out towards the outside of the green stalk. And I just feel like that helps so that they're not reaching so much. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. Look at it in all its beautiful clean glory. The soil looks incredible. Um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I cleaned the little spinner on the bottom. I got it all watered. We've got all kinds of good stuff growing in here. I still have space on the top tier and space on the second tier. Hold on, I'm looking at the whole thing. That looks awesome. Whoever did that foundation there. <laughs> I mean, it kind of <laughs> leans a little. <laughs> and I'm sure you noticed throughout the video, I was still wearing my Rue apron, but it keeps me clean. I really like wearing it. it. I have my cell phone up in this pocket. It has other pockets. I really like wearing it, especially when I'm doing gardening highly recommend there will be a link below but yeah so i think it looks really great i've got a ton of that cardinal basil in here which we're excited about um these are some dandelion greens they're like an italian dandelion what is that right there which one this one yeah this is a no no lower Th these are cardinal basil okay they're like a purple flowering basil nice yeah it's new flowers. oh that is the one i wanted yes <laughs> yeah okay awesome so yeah, I've got a few more spaces. I've got um, a lot of stuff that has sprouted, lots of lettuces. I've got um, lavender, which I'm gonna be planting in pots. Um, what's the other one? Bee balm, that's gonna go over there with the tomatoes. <laughs> what are you zooming in for? <laughs> so yeah, lots to go in here still, or lots of little spaces for stuff to go in here, but I think it looks great. Again, if you guys are interested in your own green stock, please, Send me your questions, ask in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions. We were a customer before we ever became an affiliate, but if you are interested and you are gonna purchase, use our affiliate code ESPINOZA10. It'll be on the screen somewhere, and that'll save you $10. It won't cost you anything no, extra. It it'll actually you save you money. Saves you some money and it get, helps support our channel. We get a small percentage of each sale. So we really appreciate when you guys use our code. It really helps us out. Super well, loud. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll continue to show you the progress of the green stock, and we'll catch you in the next one. This is our second green stock that we purchased. <laughs>
<laughs> we wanted to show you. Look at all these strawberries that are coming out. <gasps> Look at them. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at this all these here. little strawberries. Oh, there's one right here. That, uh, look at this Where's one. Where's right the one here. that's hanging off? Look at that one. Oh yeah, look at all of the flowers. Those are all gonna be strawberries. And we where's the one that's hanging? Right yeah. Look, that is our very first strawberry. 